It's home to our local heroes. Some gave the ultimate sacrifice. All these people that are buried here, most of them, gave their life to give us freedom in this country. Like many, Terry Leach spent Memorial Day weekend at a loved one's gravesite, but he and family quickly realized some veteran monuments have been left drowning in the weeds. It's unremarkable to me how it looks. I have no words for it. Leach showed us pictures of his parents' headstones. We found numerous others today in similar condition. Just to let them know they're still being thought of and loved. In fact, we found this woman wandering the rows. She spent two days trying to find her family site. Overgrown grass and weeds making them difficult to spot. These headstones, you could not even view the names on them. It uh, took me 30, 35 minutes to find these headstones. We took those concerns straight to the city's parks and rec director. We care. We care what our cemeteries look like at the end of the day. Ben Page tells KCCI the city is not responsible for grave maintenance. The deed and signage posted says loved ones are on the hook for keeping monuments and markers in good condition. We have 352 acres of cemeteries in the city system. This is 77, and just looking behind me, you can see if we took one, we'd have to take them all, how expensive that would be for our taxpayers. The cemetery budget and staffing has dwindled in recent years, but loved ones say more should be done to take care of the monuments placed here for the men and women who risked their lives taking care of our country.